Welcome to the Efficiency in Organization YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how you as a teacher can help your students track their own data and monitor their own progress in your class using Microsoft Excel and while in the process learning an employability skill. In case you have not seen any of my videos before, my name is Rosanna Hernandez and I am a former classroom teacher. I am a current public school administrator and I am an educational content creator, which means I produce videos and I produce articles and books, everything to do with being efficient, organized, productive, well-planned, um, anything that's going to help you, your students, in your personal life, in your in education, in every aspect of life, do things well and do things in systematic ways to improve and do more. If that sounds good to you, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. That's the first thing. If you could subscribe, if you can hit the like button and the notification bell, because every week, twice a week, I produce new videos and they are very helpful, very informative. And so they will help you. So I'm going to show you how to use Excel. I'm going to go on the computer and I'll show you like step by step what to do and how to teach it to the kids. It's not going to be long. It's going to be short, which is good because you don't want to get super complicated. This is going to be very, very basic Excel that we're going to do together that you could teach the kids. There are four main reasons why we are doing this. Number one is we're trying to get kids to be organized, to have an organized way of presenting data and numbers and information and Excel is a terrific tool to use for that. Number two, the skills that they learn in your class, they will carry as an employability skill when they continue on with their education and also when they are working in their careers in the future. Number three, they're going to learn a tech tool to use. That's part of Microsoft Office, which is awesome. And number four, if you listen to all the major voices in education like Marzano and Hattie, John Hattie mostly, they tell you when kids are in charge of their own learning, when they monitor their own progress, they're actually a lot more successful. So you are giving them the tools to be able to do that. Okay, we're going to go and watch how I'm going to show you how to use Excel and then we're going to come right back. Okay, so since I have Microsoft already, like my Microsoft suite, what I'm going to do is click on my Microsoft Excel and open it up. I'm going to do a blank sheet that's going to look just like this. And then I will expand this so that way you could see better. And then I'll make this a little bit bigger so you could see the cells. So if you have not used Microsoft Excel much before, these are called the cells. Okay, so I am going to say that a student is going to monitor his essays. So we're going to say essay one, essay two, oops, see essay two, essay three, enter, essay four, enter. So let's say the student is going to write four essays for the semester. And then we're going to come down here to where it says sheet. We are going to right click. Then this menu is going to open up when we do right click. And then we're going to left click on rename and we're going to say essays. Please remind students to make these capital and make this capital because these are titles, right? So we're going to make sure that they are capital. And if you want, you can even have them name each essay. It doesn't matter. So then we're going to create, see the plus sign? We're going to create another sheet. And then this one, rename, we're going to say projects. So maybe they have projects to do. So we're going to say project one, project. See how it automatically comes up as soon as I type PRO, project two, project three. Um, what I'll do, see how it's like smaller on this one? Because that's like what, if you come down at the bottom and you could just make it a little bit bigger. Like my eyes are not that great, so I like to see them a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's go back to the essays. Let's say the student is tracking their essays and their projects. You can even do one for test grades. Like I used to be a math teacher, so my kids would have tracked their um, test grades. I'm going to come to rename and this one I'm going to call test. Okay, and again, please make sure that they're spelling correctly. Please make sure that they are capitalizing because these are very important employability skills. They don't want to go, we don't want to send them out in the real world and they don't know that they need to capitalize these things. I used to teach trigonometry and pre-calculus and I used to have four major units. So I did have like four tests per semester. So this would have made perfect sense for my students. 
Okay, so these are the essays, and then now we're going to put the scores. So let's say the student got a 67% on the first one. And then, but you know what? Before we do that, why don't we do this? If you, let's, let's delete that. If you come here to this cell right here, B, and you right click like right on that B column, come here to this percent style, okay? Click on the percent because look what happens. You enter 67% and it automatically does the percent. And then let's say on the second one, the student got a 71. Let's say on the second one, the student got 82. And then on the fourth one, the student got 77. So now what we can do is try to graph this. Before we graph, let's do another trick. Why don't we come here to this number one right here? See how the whole thing gets highlighted? So if you click here, right here to the one, it highlights. Then you're gonna say insert, okay? So you clicked on the number one, you right clicked, and then you insert it when the menu opened up. Here we're gonna say essays. Here we're gonna say percentages or grades. I'll say grades, okay? We, why don't we teach the kids how to um, highlight, make it pretty. Okay, so I will highlight these two cells and I will come here to center. Then I will come here to fill color and then show them how to fill with a different color like this one. I can show them that they can make it bold. See? Okay, and then I can also show them how it would be nice if we highlight what we want and then if we come here to the borders and we go to all border. See that just looks a lot nicer. Imagine they're working somewhere and then they are able to show this. It's so neat, right? Okay, now we, I mean, just by looking at this visually, the students can see, oh yeah, I was on like a trajectory to do well, but then yeah, my last one dropped a little. And this is like, you could tell the kids what companies use, what um, entrepreneurs, businesses use. It's used widely across every, field of business to analyze data. So now let's see if we can go ahead and create a graph. So I'm gonna highlight this information right here. I am going to come to where it says insert and I'm gonna say recommended charts. Like it gives you a whole bunch. Um, if I click on this, let's click on this here, a bar graph. See what it does? Isn't that neat? Go with it. It's showing the kids the grades on their essays and then I want to show you something else. If you click on grades here, you double click, you can type, you could say grades for essays. So much neater. And this is something they can do when they go out into the real world and look great to their bosses and slowly move their way up in their organizations. And then you can show them, like you can, at this point, I would tell them to save. Uh, they could name it whatever you want them to name it, but have them get critical, okay? Not, I'm sorry, not critical. Have them get more creative. That's what I'm trying to say, creative. So like they can come here to change color and then they could try to change colors and they can try to pick a different, look at all the choices they have, you know? Uh, let me see if I can look at, if just by like, they could see, oh, I can change to these colors, but this is a great tool for them to use to show themselves visually, like they're monitoring their own progress. And then also they are learning how to graph, how to organize data. So if you notice, I use Microsoft Office. I have it downloaded on my desktop computer and that's what I use. And if the kids are using student computers, that's already given to them, I believe. So that should be there. If not, if they have it online as part of their Google, like when they go into Google, it's a Google um, form that they could use. It's the same thing. Google form is basically like Microsoft Excel, where even like the little things I'm showing you, how to insert a row, how to put percentage and stuff, it's all there. I'm gonna need you to do a favor. You're gonna go in the comments box and you are going to say, I can teach my kids Excel. I can teach my kids Excel. Write that there because I know it's scary. It's scary, especially if you're an English teacher, you're a CTE teacher, you're a history teacher, even as a math teacher, it's really hard to teach kids technology. And it's so important to have this organizational skill to pass on to the younger generations. And I just think it's important for you to put that out there that you are going to do this. So you're gonna go in the comments and write that. If you don't have Microsoft Office installed on Amazon, they have it. I am going to put the link for you on there. 
uh, go ahead and check it out. See if you want to order it. Uh, if you search for other products, just be very careful. Make sure the brand is Microsoft, you guys. I don't get from any other brand except Microsoft. Again, please be sure to subscribe on the website. When you get a chance, go and visit and you could subscribe there also. I have a whole separate, I have like six focus areas on the website, but there's this one particular section that's devoted to educators. And I put a lot of information. I even link to the videos, infographics, anything you could think of that helps educators. So you'll be able to see that on there. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video.